Now, what happens with a military press or a strict press is that after a certain amount of weight, you have a sticking point right about here. So one of the best exercises you can do to be able to handle a little bit more weight, and now you're gonna add a little bit more speed and power to it rather than just a strict strength thing that a press was. So now we're gonna do a push press. So what a push press is, it's very important to get a good set position. So by taking air in, getting that big chest, kind of lifting and spreading the chest, the elbows are out a little bit, kind of tuck the chin in, short dip, drive past the face, continue pressing, and you don't rebend your knees. It's very common that people will do that, but that's another exercise altogether. So what we're trying to do is get set, get that drive past the sticking point, and then you finish pressing out. So again, a little bit power to get it going, strength to finish it, and it's, a, and it's just a good way of getting past that sticking point and therefore able to handle a little bit more weight. Okay, Jared, if you would, please. Clean grip. Lift and spread the chest. Short dip. Drive past the sticking point and press. Very good. Let's do it again. Okay, big air. Short dip. Drive past and press. And down. Very good. So the push press, again, is a very good power exercise, but it takes some strength to finish it. So it takes that press, the regular press, or the strict press, to the next level, handle a little bit more weight, add a little bit of explosiveness, the push press.